In this video, we're going to look at how to change tenses in reported speech. Hey, I'm Alistair and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn English on the go, remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any content. If you want to be fluent, live abroad or write anything in English, make sure you watch until the end to fully understand and please ask any questions in the comments. Alex requested this video and as a proficient student said how complicated it was. So let's see how we get on. So what is reported speech anyway? Reported speech is how we represent the speech of other people or what we ourselves say. There are two types of reported speech. Number one, direct speech replaces the exact words a person used or how they were remembered. He said, I enjoyed the movie. He said is the reporting clause and I enjoyed the movie is the reported clause, what was said. Number two, indirect speech in which the speaker's words are changed. He said he had enjoyed the movie. In this example, I becomes he and the tense change shows that time has passed since the original words were spoken. Enjoyed becomes had enjoyed. Indirect speech focuses more on the content of what was said rather than the exact words. I can help you, said John. Direct speech. John offered to help in direct speech. As well as reporting what people said, we can also report what people wrote. I will call you at seven, he texted. Direct report. He texted that he would call me at seven. Indirect report. We can also report what people thought. I want to go to China, she thought. Direct report. She thought that she wanted to go to China. Indirect report. What about say and tell? Both say and tell can be used to report statements in direct speech, with say being more common. With say, we don't always refer to the person being spoken to. However, if we do mention them, we use to plus indirect object. Let's meet up later, he said. I'll be fine, he said to her quietly. With tell, we always mention the person being spoken to. Tell plus indirect object. I'll be absent next week, he told his boss. For indirect speech, we don't use an indirect object with say. And again, we always use an indirect object with tell. They said they'd be five minutes late. We told them we'd be five minutes late. Additionally, we use say, not tell, to report questions, greetings, congratulations, and any other wishes. What time is it? She said. Happy birthday, he said. My mother said good luck as I went for my driving test. Let's look at direct speech in more detail. A reminder that direct speech is the exact words that a person used. A direct speech report usually has a reporting verb in the past simple. The reporting clause may come first. Mary said, open the door, or second. No, he disagreed. Adverbs can be used with the reporting verb to describe the way someone said something, and this is more common when the reporting clause comes second. I agree with you, he emphatically stated. In narratives, especially novels, when the reporting clause comes second, we often swap the subject and the reporting verb. You're the best class ever, said the teacher. Help, help, shouted Ben. Also note in literature that the reporting clause can sometimes come in the middle. Yes, he announced. I was there. Let's consider indirect speech. A reminder that indirect speech focuses more on the content of what was said rather than the exact words used. The structure of the reporting clause depends on whether a statement, question or command is being reported. Let's look at statements. I'm hungry, Dennis said to his parents. Direct speech. Dennis told his parents that he was hungry. Indirect speech. Indirect reports of statements have a reporting clause and a that clause. Often that is not used, especially in informal contexts. Let's look at yes, no questions or questions with or. Are you happy? The teacher asked Paul. Direct speech. The teacher asked Paul if, whether he was happy. Indirect speech. Do you prefer tea or coffee? She asked direct speech. She asked me if, whether, I preferred tea or coffee. Indirect speech. Indirect reports of yes-no questions and questions with or have a reporting clause and a if or whether clause. If is more common. 
The reported clause is in statement form, subject plus verb, not question form, verb plus subject. This is something that is extremely challenging for students to understand. Are you happy? Verb plus subject. If, whether he was happy. Subject plus verb. Can you see the change? Do you see the swap? Let's look at what questions. Who, what, when, where, why, or how. Who are you? He asked. Direct speech. He asked me who I was. Indirect speech. Indirect reports of what questions have a reporting clause and a reported clause beginning with a wh word. Again, the reported clause is in statement form. Subject plus verb. Notice the switch. Are you? Verb plus subject. I was. Subject plus verb. What about commands? This one is easier, thankfully. Go, he ordered. Direct speech. He ordered everyone to go. Indirect speech. Indirect reports of commands have a reporting clause and a reported clause beginning with to plus infinitive. Now, what about the tense changes we make to the original verbs? Because time has passed between the moment of speaking and the time of the report. The following changes happen. Present simple becomes past simple. I like cheese becomes he said he liked cheese. Present continuous becomes past continuous. I'm eating cheese becomes he said he was eating cheese. Present perfect becomes past perfect. I've eaten cheese today becomes he said he had eaten cheese today. Present perfect continuous becomes past perfect continuous. I've been eating cheese for three minutes becomes he said he had been eating cheese for three minutes. Past simple becomes past perfect. I ate cheese becomes he said he had eaten cheese. Past continuous becomes past perfect continuous. I was eating cheese when the phone rang becomes he said he had been eating cheese when the phone had rung. Future will becomes future in the past would. I will buy cheese later becomes he said he would buy cheese later. Past perfect stays as the past perfect. There is no change. By the way, this video is part of my English grammar series. The link to the playlist is up here and also in the description below. Check it out after you've watched this video. Now, how do modal verbs change? Will becomes would. I will get more pizza becomes he said he would get more pizza. Shall usually becomes would, however in reported questions it becomes should. I shall go to the pizza museum becomes he said he would go to the pizza museum. Shall I cut the pizza becomes he asked if he should cut the pizza. Can becomes could. I can give you pizza becomes he said he could give me pizza. May for possibility becomes might. I may have some pizza becomes he said he might have some pizza. May for permission becomes could. May I buy more pizza becomes he asked if he could buy more pizza. Must for obligation becomes had to. She said you must pay for the pizza becomes he said I had to pay for the pizza. Must for speculation has no change. Also for could, should, would, might and need there is no change. If you'd like to know more about modal verbs, click the card right up here. Other changes. This becomes that. This is a pineapple. Becomes he said that was a pineapple. These becomes those. These are the best pineapples. Becomes he said those were the best pineapples. Now becomes then. I want a pineapple now. Becomes he said he wanted a pineapple then or at that moment. Yesterday becomes the day before or the previous day. Yesterday I ate pineapple becomes he said he had eaten pineapple the previous day or the day before. Tomorrow becomes the next or the following day. Could we have pineapple tomorrow becomes he asked if we could have pineapple the following day. Here becomes there. Is the pineapple here becomes he asked whether the pineapple was there. By the way, what are your thoughts about pineapple on pizza? Let me know in the comments. Now, a word about punctuation. In direct speech, it is usual to put a comma between the reporting clause and the reported clause. The original spoken words are put in inverted commas, single or double, it doesn't matter. If the reported clause is first, we put the comma inside the inverted commas. I need you, he said. He said, I need you. If the direct speech is a question or exclamation, we use a question mark or an exclamation mark instead of a comma. Who are you? She asked. No, he shouted. For more English grammar, I made a video about when to use modal verbs. I suggest checking it out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you over here 
in this video.